Today we are going to discuss about how to invoke jQuery Ajax method without page reload in ASP.NET. First of all, you need to add jQuery.win.js on your master page or ASPX page. Here you can see there are two parts mainly. One is the uh, HTML part and another is the code behind part. On HTML part, you need to write down this code for invoking the jQuery Ajax method, which should contain the following parameters URL, type of calling, content type, data, what is the data sent to the code behind, and the, what the data type, whether it is asynchronous or not. And after uh, the executing the code behind code, the result would come here on the success. Or you need to use the data.d or msd or a cell for getting the uh, da uh, return data from the code behind. If anything error happens, uh, the output would come to this error section. Let me elaborate this one. That means the URL mainly represents the method name on the page. You need to write down the page name slash the method name for executing the code on the code behind. Now considering the type, it may be get or post, post may be secure in nature. If you consider the content type, it can be application slash JSON or application slash HTML will be there. The data may be sent to uh, code behind should be stringified. That's why the JSON.stringify is user. If you are sending a list of input values to the code behind, you need to serialize in a key value pair so that the code behind code would accept in that way. The data type can be JSON or HTML. If you are considering the synchronous or asynchronous, you need to specify asynchronous true or asynchronous false. When the output is executed on the code behind, it should return to this success region. If anything else happens, that it comes to this error section. Let's discuss the code behind part. This is the code behind region. As you can see, this is a static method and it is a web method also. For making this a web method, you need to add system.web.services on your using statement. Only then it will be a web method. Two things are, it should be a static method, it should be a web method. Now, comes to the name of the a method, it should be same as what we specified on the uh, HTML side. And considering the input parameters, the data type and the name of the input parameters should be same as what we sent from the HTML. In this method, all kind of operations, whether it is, uh, it is a database operation or any other kind of operation happens, and the result will be sent to the uh, client side, means the HTML side from here. By this way, we can invoke jQuery Ajax method without page reloading in ASP.NET. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information. Thank you.